Good morning, good morning ladies and gentlemen. We are just about to fix to leave this truck stop. I just went and got me a good cup of coffee. Ah, that's a good way to start the day. It is 5.40 this morning. And here we go. Let's put her in gear. Let's get out of here. We are still at the same truck stop as we were last night when we stopped here. And that is Black River Falls, Wisconsin. Yeah, that's right. I think they got some okay coffee in here. So let's get back on the road. Come and join along with me today for the ride. We shall make it home tonight if nothing goes wrong. So then we'll be home with the family. That's right. Yeah, I like to start early in the morning, you know. We got almost no traffic. It's nice and quiet. And usually you can get through cities uh, pretty easily. I know we got some snow here last night, so let's see how the roads are going to be today. Yeah, so let's get on the interstate and let's have ourselves a fantastic morning. And uh, I hope you will enjoy the rest of the clip today or the video. Well guys, here we are coming into Minneapolis area. We just crossed into Minnesota and see these flashing lights up here. That means way station open, although this scale is almost always open. I don't go past this scale very often that it is actually closed, but oh well. We're just gonna have to keep a little distance here. It says we're supposed to keep a hundred feet apart, but a little pick, a little truck there from that other truck is definitely not keeping its distance. That's for sure. I don't know why he tries to do that, but. You are supposed to keep your distance. Look at that. I mean, he's just literally tailgating that other guy. <laughs> that swift truck there. Well, looks like we are given the bike pass today. That's good. That's what we like to see. At least I do. I don't really want to waste my time in there or get inspected. It's 0.2 miles. Keep to the left on I-94. Just trying to keep my windshield clean so you can see through there properly. It's not working very good. I think when I get home, uh, I'm going to tell my mechanic to put new windshield wipers on too. I know somebody else was uh, mentioning that the other day already. I'm just going to open the it's window here a little feet. bit just in case the they scream something at me. You never know, they do have a speaker up here somewhere. They can scream at you. No, I don't see it here anymore. They used to have it right there on that pole. Maybe they have taken it down. Oh well, I guess that means we can just go. We'll go see how uh, traffic Continue is in Minneapolis today. Miles. Only got about eight more miles and we'll be on the 694 bypass. Or 494, one way is 494. If I think if you go south, it's 494. And if you go north side, it's 694. So we're gonna go on the north side. That makes more sense for me, and I think it's closer too. That's what I usually do. I know Steve is probably working right now, so I don't think he would have time to meet up with me. If it would only be a couple minutes. So we couldn't have breakfast anyways, probably. But uh, yeah, so we'll continue on with our journey here. And Go through Minneapolis, hammer down. Hopefully, 
hopefully. I am in Suck Center, Minnesota. Yeah. And I have decided to go in here to the uh, Walmart up here. Yeah. I think I'm going to go in here and uh, going to have me my half an hour off. Have my half an hour break. And I do know they have a subway in here, so I think I'm going to go in there and have me a subway sandwich. Here we go, guys. We are making our way back onto the interstate. We had ourselves a little bite to eat there. We got a subway sandwich. Yeah. Went and got me some more windshield washer fluid. Yep. My windshield washer fluid was almost empty too. I filled in about a gallon and a half of windshield washer fluid. Yep. So here we go. We seem to have uh, gotten a uh, very strong south wind. So the uh, snow is actually blowing over the road a little bit. Wherever there is a open spot and stuff like that. So right here it's not visible, but when I took my exit up there, you could see how the wind had blown the snow over the uh, over the uh, ice ramp there, you know. But uh, yeah, we had our well hour off over there. I guess I did a little running around there in the Walmart. And, all that good stuff so I know we're done with that so we're gonna put the hammer down we got about two hours to Fargo and then we can start heading north straight north that's right so let's get on down the road and have ourselves a fantastic day alrighty Please ladies and gentlemen ahead. we have in just crossed the meters, border left on Kid Street. we are now in Manitoba I don't need to yapping at me here all day long. Anyways, we had to go into the ski holes. They're open. Yeah. We gotta stop before we get on the plate. That's their rule up here. We gotta stop. Looks like our weight is good. 14,700 14, kgs, 12,000 and change on the trailer. We're looking good, we're looking good. That's fantastic. That's the way we like to see it. But anyways, we are on the final stretch to go home. Yeah, that's right. Look at all the snow melting up here in Canada and all. It's actually fairly mild up here. I think it got up to uh, above freezing point today. That's unusual, you know, for this time of year in January. Man, I think most of the times at this time of the year it's like 30 below zero. It's usually very cold. And I know it's beautiful out there. It really is so. Anyways, we gonna go home. Wife already called. She's waiting for me. That's good. I miss her too. I really do. I love my family, you know. So whoever loves their family, they're gonna miss their family too, right? That's my opinion, anyways. So let's get back on our, on our 75 highway here. Let's put the hammer down and let's go home.